the hook. Oh, and they're going to set this up Ooh. onto Pawn. He just disappears as the Shockwave will pick up first blood. They were going to play around, and they're just dominating them at every single uh, place here. I mean, Pawn, he tries to go on in, and he just gets destroyed. And that's the thing. He doesn't have Chum the Water. That was the play that Gorilla to what Pawn's going to be able to do. Yeah, another Chum the Water does miss. I mean, that's supposed to be used to pick oh. up kills. Right now, he's just missing. And, Ooh. Oh, that was cute. But at the same time, in comes Khan. And, well, you're not going to get away from that after you used all of your cool Turn. Oh, he's angry. She's angry. <laughs> nice hook. Oh, man. That arrow was gigantic. Able to take out Pawn before the fight even starts. They had so much access going into the jungle. And the arrow here from Prey finds Khan right away. Shockwave immediately into the, uh, into the hook or play. The textbook arrow engage, really. Yeah. Prey, I mean, he's he's played this champion a lot, I've heard. And it looks like Cuz did pay for it with his life because he went in for the kick. But either way, I'll pay stop. And uh-oh, KT, they really want that turret, but it's just not working out for them. Here comes Galio, and finally tums the water, it hits something. Prey, looks like he finally will pay the iron price. In comes Khan in the back, will pick up Mana, so one for one for now. Does getting a little bit low, will jump to safety onto BDD. Prey is a pretty nice catch for KT. Perhaps they're feeling to try to engage onto this. Khan is in the back line, and Shockwave is available. Does make there the it is. Look at that. Gonna just destroy that guy in pawn. Ooh. Getting very low as well. Score forced to flash away. There's the double kill onto BDD. He really teaches you all the fundamentals you need to know about League of Legends. And here, the Blade of the Ruined King onto the Lulu. And it's a great flash fish from Prey. But as soon as that kill goes through, they keep trying to go for more, but every ultimate got blown from the get-go, and they still greed out. They're trying to go for more. They feel desperate. They know they're behind, even though the gold is only about 2K difference. And Long Two looks low. Like, a lot of their members are low, and Depth and Pawn are full health, so it's like, oh, okay, we can take out this turret, but they weren't expecting to come from behind the perfect shockwave here. BDD, he doesn't have to have full health to make that happen. You always have to count the ultimates if they're still available in any fight. So they did not account for Orianna still having Shockwave and keep anybody trapped because the aggro was on Smeb, but to dance around the turret and try to slow down the damage. CP is out. Gets canceled, though. Oh, no, it does not. Yeah, it's coming through because it's actually too far away to finish that Q. Looks like a turret went down on the bottom lane in the meantime. But... They were looking for that engage. Longju was able to group up fast enough as a team. And now they're looking for the counter engage. They're on the chase. Very cautiously, once again, they're going to get up to score. The arrow actually hits Galio here. And Khan going super deep. There's the shockwave to line that up. And down goes Deft. And that is a huge amount of damage taken away from this KT lineup now. Snap all alone. A double kill. Another one here for the Orianna as BDD really beginning to pop off. And walk away with this one, Scott Free. And that is also going to be a tier one, whereas KT have nothing to answer for themselves. Just two lanes of farm. And then me, BDD, you've got my back, right? Same thing happens here. Cuz goes in, but then look at Khan come in and go super deep onto death, and then the follow up Shockwave. It's Lashes so good. To Shockwave in. So good. It's like that you're totally right. The communication right there is so apparent. It happened in that gank the previous game, you know, when he flashed into the Gragas and the Shockwave was there exactly. as well. Sure, we'll go to half, though, and Khan still looking for a fish from the side. Going really far back, but we'll get spotted out by Cuz. Cuz on the chase. Khan does Ooh, get nice taunted, but still belt. gets over. And Pawn, okay, Gallery coming on in. Big taunt, but there's no follow up once again. And he will get knocked up. Pawn on the run, and Prey's not even there. He's taking out turrets. Long Dude is all over this team right now. The arrow comes through. They do barely miss that. Shockwave will knock up death. And that's going to be a double kill going over to Khan as he continues to go deeper and deeper. Pawn, he's trying to make something happen. And it's just falling like dominoes, uh, one after the other, choosing to go in. Trying to make a push for the game here. The Baron is still onto them. 
could this be the game-winning push? Teleport goes through, and it likely will be. Three people down, and Long should just completely decimating KT. Oh, they, they, this wasn't even close. They 2-0'd them, and it, they made it look so, so easy. They're even trying to kill score on the back of this, and then they'll kill the Nexus. 2-0 for Long Ju with a huge upset win against KT, but they didn't make it look like an upset. Not perhaps we got the meta wrong on this patch, or perhaps <laughs> we need to re reassess what's going on. The Oriana Jarvan combo, yeah. really powerful, and even in the previous game, we did see Jarvan.